G'day guys, hope you're doing well, hope you all had a fantastic week. Um, just a little side note, uh, my previous video I was wearing my white hat and someone commented on it saying, different hat! So I've decided with every video I do I'm going to alternate my hats, just as a bit of a joke, I don't know, something stupid, but oh well. Um, now I've been really uh, reviewing the uh, last wave of the vintage collection, um, decided to have a break and review some other figures, and this is one I got in the mail earlier this week, I think, or late last week. So I finally decided to review him. And it is Chewbacca from the Legacy Collection. Um, this is his Sandstorm Chewbacca. So I've finally been able to complete um, the Sandstorm set of figures. Um, we did get Leia and Lando in the Vintage Collection in that deleted scene wave earlier this year. Very early this year, funny about that. This year has just flown. Um, and the Legacy Collection, part of that first wave, one, two, and three in the first wave, was Luke, Han, and Chewie. And I've reviewed all these figures, so this is the last one on the list. So I'm very glad to finally get him. It's a very cool figure. Um, they've used that absolutely amazing Chewbacca sculpt from years years back, um, where they first started tinkering with this super articulated. Um, style figure so very nicely done it does come with his bowcaster which we've seen multiple times so very nice that little bit is a little bit wonky but I might super glue that in because let's face it I'm not really going to take it out so it does come it does come out though so Probably just super glue that in just so it stays there, nice and still. Just lower that so you can get a look at the head sculpt. Um, like I was saying, the, the whole body is uh, a kit bash. Well, it is a kit bash figure with some new parts, being the head and the lower left leg. So I thought I'd just give you a quick little zoom in on the head. Focuses and I can hold it straight. They're very nicely sculpted, very nicely painted. The nice sort of touches of the darker fur, lighter fur. It's sort of, it's really messy. <laughs> He's been obviously in the middle of a sandstorm, so so really nicely sculpted. Just those thickets of hair looks really good. You can sort of see the darker shade throughout the middle there. Looks really nice. You can go around here and it's sort of wrapped over his shoulder as well. So you could say Chewie's not having a good air day, but a very nice head sculpt nonetheless. Um, oh, like I say, we'll move down to the lower leg because this is the new part of this figure. Where they've had to sculpt a new part of that lower leg. There's obviously scars from uh, patches from his injury from hanging off the edge of the skiff. So really nicely sculpted bandages there try and keep my hand out of the way but so I've done a great job with that you can see the sort of where the bandages meet in the middle there so very nicely done articulation is absolutely outstanding on this one um, he does have a swivel head um, ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows swivel wrists a double ball joint in the torso. He's got, as you can see, that jo those joints there and there. He has ball joints in both of them, so you get sort of get that ultra sort of posability there. He has swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ankles. So very nice for this Chewy. Well, we've seen this body a few times um, throughout Saga Legends, uh, the most recent Target Battle Packs, our uh, three vintage three packs, special action figure sets, whatever you want to call them. Um, he was part of the Android set with 3PO and R2. It's a pretty cool figure. There's not really a lot else I can say about it, to be honest, but just really nicely sculpted all over the whole figure. So you can sort of see the fur hanging off his arms and hands. Um, it just looks really good. He's sort of ammo belt. And we have his chew bagger. His handbag, man bag, wookie bag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 
So really nice, really nice figure. So I'm very happy to finally finish these sort of five Sandstorm figures. So that being that, that's about all I can really say about this guy. I don't have the packaging, I bought him loose, so um, yeah, that's really about it. So um, I'll try and get another video up over the weekend, I'm not going to make promises, but probably uh, definitely early next week I've got another one I want to review, so um, then I'll try and go back and have a look at the rest of the Vintage Wave. So thanks for watching as always guys. Um, any comments and feedback are always appreciated um, and yeah try and get back to you as much as I possibly can I've got a few comments to reply to now for my last video so um, I'll do that while this is uploading so until next time guys may the force be with you and have a great weekend